and welcome to our Gold Learning viewers. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Public Relations Manager and MC for Gold Learning. Well, I have the pleasure of sitting down today with Kathy Carruthers. How are you, Kathy? It's great to have you back here at Gold. Great. I'm doing fabulous and I'm glad to be back. And we're excited to have you. And you're going to be presenting on dealing with the tough ones, counseling in difficult situations. And I can't wait to hear, of course, the full presentation. And right now, we're just going to chat a little bit about it and uh, maybe hear a little bit from you, Kathy, and what's uh, happening in your life. But why don't you go ahead and reintroduce yourself today to our listening audience and tell them why this topic is important to you. Well, thanks so much. And again, many, many thanks to Gold for hosting this important topic. Uh, so a little bit about myself. I am an IBCLC since 1996, but I'm also the mother of five healthy, grown breastfed children, uh, three beautiful grandchildren, including a brand new baby who is breastfeeding at age five weeks. So I'm very proud of her. Uh, and one of the things I want everybody to know about me is that I have a very long history in working with low income and vulnerable populations. And I think in all the years I have worked uh, in with these di different types of populations, I've really learned the value of building a connection with human beings. You know, I think as lactation consultants, we all are so well trained. We have all the knowledge in the world. We can fix most any breastfeeding challenge or problem that occurs. But if you don't know how to share that knowledge, if you don't know how to uh, reach a mother who's experiencing a challenge, then all that expertise is really for naught. So I really believe that there's power in building a connection with another human being. And I personally have seen it and I see it from many people that I work with that you just see life differently whenever you build that connection. It really changes you, helps you to be even more empathetic with the next mother that you're going to be serving. So this is a topic that really excites me. Yeah, absolutely. I love hearing you talk. It, it comes from your heart, and I can tell, Kathy, it's just beautiful. Um, and I know you've had an extensive journey um, in this particular area, as, as well as many others. Um, but it's great to hear, you know, and catch up. Um, and it was a great reminder to hear, uh, you know, what you've been doing and what your loves are in your life. So in presenting this, this particular topic, um, dealing with the tough ones, what did you enjoy most, uh, you know, when you're when you're presenting on this topic? What really touches you in this in this presentation? Well, I think for me personally, it's just seeing the light go on uh, in the eyes of people that are hearing this information. Oftentimes, people come up to me afterwards and they share their stories, uh, failures that they experienced, mothers that they just were not able to reach. Uh, many times people tell me with tears in their eyes after a presentation, this is going to transform the way I talk to my patients. It never occurred to me that the things I was saying and doing really were not resonating well, and now I understand why. And so I think just hearing those stories, seeing the light go on, uh, really seeing someone open up. People come to me often later and say, I put some of those principles into practice, and it's changed. It's changed me. It's changed the mothers. And it's helping me to navigate those difficult situations with a lot more confidence. And I think that is, uh, that's a great deal of power. And those are the kinds of stories that keep me going. That's wonderful, Kathy. Well, you know, you know, there's some of the things I really love about you. And I don't know what I, if I've told you this before, but I, you are a very good educator. And I think that's a given. I think many people know that about you. And um, and I'm sure I've told you that before, but I think what makes you a really good educator is that you're so open to receiving the message from people. And I think that, again, you you absorb that from people. You're such a good listener. Um, and then, you know, just providing that reflective listening, which is, I know, part of the training, but yet you're just so good at it. You just have that great empathy about you. And, and so I, I just want to compliment you again. I can hear it in your voice today. <laughs> and, and I just love it. I mean, I want to hang out with you more, Kathy. It's, 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 <laughs> well, you, you, you really are good at what you do. So thank you for that. I will say that it takes a lot of practice, and the more you practice it, the better you get. Uh, and I will say, too, that these are principles you can use at home. You can start today. In fact, I use these things on my kids all the time, and I think it's helped me to have a better relationship with them. And you do get better the more you practice. But thanks. Right. It's a nice compliment. Yeah. Oh, no. No, thank you, because... 
I think in turn, what happens is we are we're reaching further. Like when we're when you're educating and we're listening to you, we're provoked to reach further within ourselves and to go out and do better. I mean, that that's what it's about, you know, and to to look at what we've done um, and to push ourselves forward. Right. And that's that's what, you know, continuing education should be about. And that's what you've taught me um, over the years. And so I'm very grateful, uh, certainly for that. So it, with that, tell me a little bit about what you're looking forward to really sharing with our delegates uh, this time around here. Well, what I'm really looking forward to is, again, just kind of sharing my heart and uh, some of the stories that I have encountered through the years. Um, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about just a, some reminders about active listening skills and why those are important and how to do them, but really focusing on how you build a connection with a mom. How do you really reach her? How do you understand the emotions that are driving her decision making? I really believe once you know the emotions that are going on, you can wade through any difficult situation. And then we're going to also do maybe some practical examples of how to apply some of those skills and emotions in challenging situations. Uh, I'm going to tell a few stories. I'm always known for my stories, so I plan, I promise you, I will slip in one or two stories in this talk. Well, that's Should fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. I certainly can't wait for that. So, well, I'll tell everyone that you are part of our um, add-on package, um, Human Milk Oh, sorry, Managing Challenges at the Breast Add-on Pack at our Gold Lactation 2017, 11th anniversary of Gold Lactation. So excited uh, for you to, I know, it's great. So excited for you to be a part of that for sure. Um, upcoming starts on April 3rd, so we'll look forward to having you all join us and be a part of that. And here's some more of the absolutely fabulous Kathy Carruthers, who will be teaching us on dealing with the tough ones, counseling in difficult situations. Kathy, thank you so much. So much for being with us here today and spending this time chatting with us. Oh, absolutely. Thank you.